What's going on guys? Today I want to shoot a quick video talking about SGOV and just do some illustration calculations for how much you might have to invest in order to make these specific milestones per month in dividend income. Um, so if you're not familiar with what SGOV is, it is a short term duration um, treasury bill ETF managed by iShares. I will quickly pop over to their website. So like I mentioned, it is a zero to three month treasury bond ETF yielding around five, what was it like 5.37% currently. Um, it has an expense ratio of 0.13, net expense ratio um, through June of this year of 0.07. Um, so definitely, you know, Fairly, uh, fairly, ex fairly cheap expense ratio there. Now, by all means, you can go and do this yourself if you want to go buy these treasury, uh, treasury bonds. Uh, there's many different brokerages out there that allow you to do that. Uh, but if you don't really want to have to worry about that, <clears throat> there's multiple ETFs out there, kind of like Sgov, that will do pretty much do this for you. Um, and high level, you know, what it's doing, it's going to give you exposure to U.S. Treasury bonds uh, with remaining maturities less than or equal to one to three months. Targeting the U.S. Treasury market. And ultimately, you're seeking stability in your portfolio um, and you're creating income. So total return the past year is 5.35%. Uh, that's pretty much completely dividend based uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of share share appreciation per se uh, each month it's going to go up and then back down based upon that uh, based upon that that dividend and this they're not illustrated here in this chart but that's kind of how it works yeah, so 5.35%, 5.32% market price percentage, benchmark 4.19% after tax. So do keep in mind, you are going to have to pay taxes on these dividends. So you're looking at, yeah, 3.2, 3.13 after taxes there. $21 billion, um, assets under management, <clears throat> pretty big fund. It was just established in 2020, so that's pretty interesting. Pretty pretty new fund there. Uh, they will pay you a monthly uh, dividend, so obviously really cool with that. And uh, yeah, scrolling down a little bit farther, some more data points here. With interest rates being so high, this could be a very attractive way to get yield from from your portfolio. You know, historically, you know rates are more than likely going to come down. They might continue to go up. Um, and if that's the case, then, uh, you know, by all means, continue to continue to invest, you know, do your own research, obviously not financial advice. Uh, but this can be continually a great investment that you could tap into if you want to get some, uh, some yield from your portfolio. So it does look like we have about a month, a little bit more than a month left of this uh, pretty much discount. <clears throat> 0 0.06 is that discount that we're getting currently, dropping it from 0.13 to 0.07. Uh, but do keep in mind, it looks like it expires June 30th of this year. So that's something you will want to definitely consider because it is going to almost double, double back up there. Here's some of the holdings. You know, like I mentioned, treasury bonds, treasury bills, <clears throat> different durations. But uh, pretty cool how they uh, illustrate all that's all that they're currently holding. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave a link to this website down below if you want to go check out check out their website. Um, jumping over to the Nasdaq dividend history, so we can see that pretty much every month, the first of the month is the ex dividend date. Declaration date is a couple days before that. Uh, I'm not sure. That doesn't seem to be accurate there. Uh, so the ex dividend date is the first. The record date is the second. And then you will be paid 
shortly after. And that's been pretty consistent ever since the fund started. So we're sitting at currently with interest rates, you know, 5.37% dividend yield and an estimated amount, uh, annual amount of $5.39 and some change at the end of there. Uh, SGOV is currently trading at $100.55. And um, like I mentioned, not sure if we can see a little bit of a chart here to I've kind of see how it trades. Here we go. So this is like a perfect example. So come back here actually one week. Yeah, so more so really like so pretty much every month this this ETF is gonna go up. If I can pull up the window. Yeah, so every month it's you know you're gonna hit that X dividend date. So this is the first, and on that X dividend date. You know, it's it's gonna the day before is at sixty eight. Next day it drops, you know, fifty some cents. So that's typical. You know, most stocks drop based upon the dividend amount as well, and it's no different. But yeah, that's pretty much the pattern. Every single month it, it drops, then it comes back up, drops, comes back up, drops, and so on. So that's kind of a little illustration of, you know, how how it works as far as that goes. Jumping back to the dividend history, we're looking at 44 cents per share. That's what it was last month, 40 cents, 45 cents, 45 cents, 44, 42, 44, 41, 43, and so on. So that can give us a pretty good, uh, pretty good estimate. Let's jump over to our Excel spreadsheet. So SGOV, uh, you can use a Google Finance formula if you would like. You can see Google Finance and then put in parentheses, whatever ticker you want to get the current price. That will go and get uh, the current price. I'm sure it'll be delayed of, yeah, you can see the disclaimer. Quotes are not sourced from all markets and may be delayed up to 20 minutes. So just keep that in mind. And then the $5.39, so that's your annual dividend divided by 12. That'll give you your monthly amount and then over the span of the year, you're looking at 5.37%. So how much do we need to make $100 a month? <clears throat> so $100 a month equates to $1,200 a year. And if we divide that by the annual dividend per share, that's gonna show us that in order to receive $1,200 of annual dividends or $100 per month, we're gonna need to purchase Almost 223 shares of SGOV, 222.63. And that is going to cost us, at the current price, $22,000 and some change. 22.39 and 35 cents, give or take. It's gonna fluctuate a little bit. Uh, but yeah, definitely a good amount of money there. Uh, but definitely doable. You know, so you save up over time. You make money from your job, selling options, uh, whatever. Uh, that's pretty much going to give you a ballpark of, of how much it's going to cost. So, with that current yield, that's what we're looking at. Scrolling up a little, down a little bit further. Two hundred fifty dollars times twelve is three thousand dollars a year. So $3,000 divided by the annual share that will show us how many shares we're going to have to have. And then you multiply that by the current share price. And then that shows us that in order to make, you know, roughly $250 a month, we're going to have to invest over almost $56,000 into ESCO. Moving along. So we're looking at 12, so $12,000 divided by $5.39 is going to give us how many shares that we're going to need. Just change this formatting real quick. And then we want to take that multiplied by the current share price. So we're starting to get a little bit higher here. Um, and, you know, that's expected because we are starting to, you know, really start to compound and, and make a lot more money uh, here on the left. And then lastly, $60,000 divided by $5.39. It's going to be a lot of shares of Escov. So 
11,000 shares and then to equate that to roughly $1.1 million is what it would take in order to make $5,000 a month from ESCO. You'd be sitting on a beach, if you have $1.19 million roughly and $5,000 is, is enough for you to be financially free, then congratulations with the current interest rates um, in today's market. You know, by all means, that can change at any point. But currently with interest rates, you can you can achieve that by investing into SGOV or other equivalent type of investment vehicles. Pretty much treasury, you know, treasury bills right now are, are, are pretty high. Um, but it can, you know, give you right around that five thousand dollars a month uh, income level. So really cool there. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Is SGOV something that you're currently, you know, allocating part of your money in your portfolio? Are you trying to create income from your portfolio at this point, or are you just fully growth? Um, let me know down below. There are a couple other ones out there. I think it's like T-Bill, and there's a couple other ones. Like I'm a big fan of uh, SCHI. It's a twist. Um, so they do go out and buy treasury bills, but they also they also sell credit spreads. And then there's another one to look at. It's actually called HIGH. And it's you know kind of like the same idea as SCH, SCHI. Uh, the risk with this though is that if there's a black swan event, it can wipe out you know a lot of the, the premium that they made from selling their put spreads. Whereas this sells sells both uh, bearish play bearish spreads and bullish spreads. So yeah, regardless if there's a black swan event, uh, they're generating premium from on both sides of the market. Whereas this SDHI can be great in a, great in a bullish market, but if there's like another COVID crash or you know something similar, this uh, this SCHI could definitely get impacted um, a lot more. So just some things to keep in mind there. Definitely go check these two tickers out as well. Uh, these yields are higher. This is probably in the six to seven percent range, and then this is closer to ten percent. But you know, by all means, they are riskier because they're doing a little bit more advanced. They're not just solely buying U.S. Treasury bills; they're selling options, and you know, pretty much with that comes you know more risk, more expenses, and and so on there. So just some things to keep in mind. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. I, if you're still here, I really appreciate it. Uh, please let me know what you guys think down below about these illustrations. If this is some content you guys, guys, you know, kind of want to see more of going forwards, I definitely can can work on that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are still here, please like and subscribe down below. It helps us out a significant amount. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there in uh, today's market, uh, being responsible. And uh, and yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.